Welcome to Church on the Way. We're really pleased that you could join us today. We trust you're going to enjoy the message and uh, may you be encouraged through the Word of God today. If you really like this channel, please subscribe and uh, enjoy what God has got for us. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you again. We wanted to get back to you and to respond to you as the, the levels have changed under this COVID-19 restrictions to, to level three. But firstly, I want to just say thank you to you for coming together and praying on the National Day of Prayer. God has answered our prayers and will continue to inter intervene for us. And his angels have gone before us and we will see the victory of what we prayed for. I really do believe that. But under level three, we, we know the restrictions have changed for the church. We can have an opportunity now to meet with numbers less than 50 with many restrictions with that. But with this, we, we still got to be hearing God. So as the elders, we have spent some time before the Lord um, and we got together on, on Monday night after pondering upon this and, and hearing what the Spirit of God is saying to us. And we, we all have come to an agreement. we unanimous in our understanding what the Lord wants us to do. So our decision is, under the current circumstances, we really believe the Lord is leading us to stay as is. What does that mean? We will continue to do church as we are doing in church, uh, in the home and online. We will continue to prepare messages and to encourage you and to meet in church in the homes through our WhatsApp groups and phoning one another. We really believe this is the right decision. The Lord really spoke to me that when a storm comes, and he, an analogy that he gave to me while I was on a prayer walk is like when you're sailing and a storm comes, you put up a, a storm sail. So you keep moving forward and you keep keeping your course and you keep going forward, but the winds are too strong to actually use a big mainsail or a spinnaker. It's just not wise to do that. And we really do believe that under the current circumstances, we believe that the Lord wants us to continue to, to, to meet together as we are meeting and until the right time and the restrictions are appropriate, we will, we will release ourselves to meet in a bigger auditorium and to do the things that we seemingly did it in the past. So our hearts are to please the Lord, to hear him, to want to honor him and know that he is head of his church as we go forward. So what does that mean from the church office? The church office will still remain closed, but yet staff will be going in to maintain the property to keep it clean and prepare for our return at the right time. Also, what this means to us is that uh, we've been given the great privilege of the church elders and the deacons to be essential workers, to be able to go out and to meet with you and to pray with you. And we really do encourage you to contact us and we're going to be contacting you and we're going to be coming to meet with you and to pray with you in your in your homes. That's where we can lay hands upon you and trust that we can do that safely and believe God to to meet with you and to bring healing and not only healing to bring encouragement to you. We know some of you might be disappointed at this time, but please hear God in this matter. We, we're still going to get to you and we're still going to be with you to encourage you to go forward. So as we go forward, I really want to encourage you to continue to look up and look forward to where God is actually taking us. God is in the season. He's working for the good. Um, don't see this as a negative, but rather that God is preparing us. I really do be he's preparing us as the bride of Christ for his, his return. And we need to be preparing our hearts. And let's continue to grow and to mature in him and prepare ourselves for what's ahead of us. Let's not lack vision in the season. Don't let the financial constraints and the difficulties that we're facing on rob you of your inheritance and rob you of your calling that God has given you. And then too, I also want to warn you that the world doesn't throw all these things at you now under level three. Do not get busy again, but continue to maintain your disciplines of being with your Lord, worshipping him, spending time in his word, appropriating his word, and then going forward with him. So 
we want to just tell you that we love you. We love the Lord. We want to obey him and we want to lead you into his plans and purposes. So thank you for praying for us. Thank you for praying for the church. We are going to do this together. We're going to get through this together and we're going to fulfill what God's plan is for us. So God bless you. Keep praying. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. We love you dearly. Thank you.